waiting on one or two stragglers, but they can just kind of file in as I'm talking. So um, good afternoon. My name is Kahala Glover. I am the program advisor with Upward Bound Math and Science. So I'm going to be talking to you today about what Upward Bound Math and Science is, what can it do for me, what can I expect out of it, uh, why is it such a great program, how do I qualify, things like that. So do you mind to go ahead and go through? So. Uh, Upward Bound Math and Science, or UBMS Basics. So this is just a general rundown of the program. We are a federal Department of Education grant program, and we aim to prepare eligible high school students for high school, college, and career success. So I work just down the road at ECTC, uh, but that does not mean that I am recruiter for ECTC. Part of the grant means that we have to have a space to work, and because ECTC is a KCTCS school, um, they are funded by the state, and therefore the Department of Education. So we kind of work in conjunction with one another, but I'm not a recruiter for them. I'm not going to sway you to attend ECTC after you graduate high school. If you want to attend ECTC, I can certainly help you navigate that process um, and look at getting scheduled for classes and things like that, but I'm not going to recruit you to attend, okay? Because we are math and science based, we are STEM focused, but you don't have to be a STEM student if you want to go ahead and go be part of this program, okay? And we're looking for students that are eager to learn more about a post-secondary education or career in a STEM field. I think all of you all in here are juniors, is what Mr. Robbins said, is that correct? Anybody that's not a junior in here, just raise your hand. Okay, cool. How many of you in here are planning on going to college after you graduate? Awesome, awesome. So, um, and we can talk about that a little bit more later. So, just keep in mind, all of the activities and transportation and meals that I talk about today when I'm telling you about Upward Bound Math and Science, totally free to you all. They don't cost you anything. Uh, those are provided to you just for being part of Upper Bound Math and Science, okay? And it all starts with study help on your own campus, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Thank you. So, the big stuff. At its most fundamental basic building block, UBMS prepares you for college. We provide tutoring, exposure to professionals in STEM fields, cultural excursions, college visits, ACT prep, FAFSA assistance, financial literacy and financial education, and so much more, and all of those are free. Um, not only that, but you can earn money just by being part of our program. So during the academic year, while you guys are in classes, you can earn up to $40 a month by participating in weekly activities, Saturday academies that happen once a month, and I'll talk about that later, and maintain a minimum GPA of 2.0. During our summer academy, which I'll also talk about later, you can earn up to $15 a week. So it's a little bit extra way to line your pockets a little bit of extra money both during the academic year and the summer, okay? The Summer Academy is a six-week program that offers additional in-depth educational opportunities, and that is partnered with our Summer Bridge. So our Summer Academy is for students that are getting ready to be a freshman in high school or students that are getting ready to be a senior in high school, okay? So it's offered to everybody within that range. Our Summer Bridge it's offered to graduated seniors that are getting ready to be a freshman in college. And those graduated seniors can take two credit-bearing transferable classes for absolutely free, no charge. They'll just take them during the course of our six-week program, okay? At the end of our summer academy and our summer bridge, we will take an all-expenses-paid trip um, at the end of that, like I said. So after five weeks, that last week that we are in that summer academy and summer bridge, we will take a summer trip to somewhere to focus a little bit more on STEM. So this year, we're planning on taking students to Universal Studios down in Florida. So we'll leave on Monday, we'll come back on Friday. While we're down there, we'll take a behind the scenes tour of Universal Studios, see kind of how those things work, what is some of the engineering and the science and the technology that goes into that. We will tour Kennedy Space Center and get a behind the scenes tour of that as well. Um, and check out Icon Park to just see what goes into the day to day of running an amusement park and an attraction of that scale. Uh, but we're also planning on taking you all on a college visit on the way down there or on the way back. We're still working out the specifics of that part. Um, and then we'll take a day to go and check out the beach and just relax and have a little bit of fun. So, um, but remember, this is totally paid for. So just by being part of our program, showing up for the summer trip, um, so showing up for the summer program, I'm sorry, um, you will qualify to be able to go on the summer trip just by showing up every day, making sure that you're taking care of it in those classrooms that we're going to talk about a little bit later. Okay. Go ahead. So here's a breakdown of all of the details and services that we provide. We provide academic tutoring provided weekly in your home high school. So we're still working on figuring out the details of that in North Harden High School, but we will provide academic tutoring at least once a week after school. 
we'll provide academic advising, secondary and post-secondary. So we'll talk about what are some classes that we think you should be taking getting ready to go into your, June, or your senior year because you all are in trimester. So we'll talk about planning a few trimesters in advance. We'll talk about schools that you might want to go to or visit. What is, what's required to get into those schools? Have you applied? Have you gone on a visit? Have you checked them out? What kind of majors do they offer? Maybe you're somebody that wants to go into aviation. Of course, EKU is the premier aviation school in the state of Kentucky. I believe it's the only one. So if that's something that you want to do, then maybe that's something you need to start planning ahead for, okay? We'll talk about ACT and SAT prep. I know you all just took the ACT at the beginning of the month. Um, as part of your statewide testing, but of course some of you may have gotten your scores back already and you're a little unsatisfied and you want to go ahead and retake that ACT again. We can provide some services to help you be a little bit more prepared um, and have some more tools at your disposal for that, okay? We provide financial aid education, FAFSA completion assistance, which you'll all complete uh, later this year just because you'll all be seniors. If you're planning on going to college, we'll have to talk about the importance of the FAFSA. Why is that so important? Why do I need to complete it? School reentry assistance, college searching and application assistance, how to go about finding a college that suits your needs and what you want to do and how to fill out that application. Financial literacy education, opportunities to learn from and engage with not only professionals in STEM fields, but also college students in those STEM fields. So that way you can see what that culture is like in that field and in that field of study. And you can begin to understand a little bit of what's required in that and how much they enjoy it and how much they've learned from it and what are some of the tricks and trades um, that they've kind of learned being in that field, okay? Summer instruction, exposure to cultural, cultural events, career exploration, and some field trips. So all of these services are totally free. They don't cost you all anything. Just by being part of our program, you will qualify to receive these, okay? Go for it. So academic year activities. This takes place while you're in your classes at North Harden High School or here at the Academy at EC3. Um, but this is just a breakdown of some of the academic year activities that we have. Weekly participation is expected. We're not asking you to give us a ton of your time every week. Normally right around an hour between one to two, um, but sometimes it will take a little, even less than that, okay? After school tutoring at your home high school will be the main focal point for these academic year activities. Uh, and we're looking into a poss possible alternative virtual option. Uh, we're just still trying to work out a little bit of that in terms of details and who we're gonna work with and partner with for that. But we're gonna focus on study skills, academic enrichment, Virtual job shadowing and career awareness. So we're looking into a program right now and, and, and active talks with them to get set up with a place that will let you kind of look at all of the jobs that can be offered within a 60 mile radius or however many mile radius is within you and those openings and what those require and what the job looks like on, from day to day. Um, what kind of education is required for that? What kind of experience? Things like that. ACT and SAT prep, of course, and then financial aid, financial literacy education. That's all part of your academic year activities, okay? And then Saturday academies. <coughs> Excuse me. So Saturday academies will occur one Saturday per month during your school year. That also qualifies as your weekly participation. So let's say we have a Saturday academy for tomorrow, okay? If I go and I participate and I do all of the things, then that qualifies as my weekly participation for this week that we have just finished, okay? So we operate on a Monday to Sunday scale, okay? Transportation to and from your home high school to and from ECTC is provided. We'll also provide breakfast and lunch for those academies. And we're gonna be placing a focus on STEM, academic, college preparatory, or career activities. Sometimes we'll be on campus and we'll be doing some workshops. The Saturday Academy that we had this past month was focused on cybersecurity. So we'd had an individual come from the Department of Defense and talk about his job, how he got his start, what he does, and then we did a little bit of cybersecurity activity for that. Some events may take place off campus. Maybe we'll take a field trip to a local business to see how they operate and a community partner. Maybe we'll take a college visit and see what it's like to be on that campus, whether it be a four-year campus or a two-year campus. Or we'll take a cultural excursion. But what we want to do is we want to provide you all exposure to professionals in those STEM fields so you can gain a better understanding and a better knowledge base of what that STEM field looks like, okay? So, Summer Academy and Summer Bridge. This is going to happen in the summer. It's going to take place at ECTC. It's for rising freshmen through graduating seniors, so everybody in this room would qualify to participate in it if you qualify for the program itself. And it's six weeks in length. We'll have five weeks of what we call instruction and a one-week summer trip. So it'll run from July 5th through, or June 5th through July 17th. We, of course, won't have any instruction or anything on the 4th because that's a national holiday. But we're going to place a focus on math, science, English and composition, 
foreign languages, and electives. So you're going to be able to take some really condensed classes on a couple of those. And all of our curriculum is going to be based on grade level. So all of your grade levels are going to be separated. We'll provide breakfast and lunch and transportation for, those, uh, for each day that you're there. And then we'll also, like I said, separate you all through grade levels. So we're going to make sure that we build curriculum from the ground up for you all based on the year you're going to be going into. So if you guys are going to be seniors, then we will base curriculum based on the classes that you're going to take or that we're anticipating you're going to take. So that way you can have more tools at your disposal um, to be a little bit more well-rounded. Then we'll also have our summer bridge, which is for graduated seniors, which is basically just going to be designed to mimic a college going experience. Uh, that's when those college going seniors will be able to take those two credit bearing classes, uh, FYE 105 and Math 150, which is first year experience and college algebra. Go for it. So uh, here is a list of some of the UBMS programs across the USA. Um, you can see we kind of range all over the place, all over the country. But some of the notable places that we have are Murray State, uh, Shawnee State, Boston University, University of Tennessee in Chattanooga, University of Pennsylvania, uh, which is a, an Ivy League school, Marquette University, Morehouse College, UCLA. So the reach of UBMS is very real. It's a very legitimate program funded by the Department of Education. Um, and what we want to do is we want to help first generation students be more prepared for college. So it's a legit program and has a wide reach and it helps a lot of students. So this is an awesome program I wish that I had access to whenever I was in high school. Okay, go for it. So let's talk about eligibility. In order to participate, students have to meet one of the following criteria. Either be a first generation college student, meaning neither your parents nor legal guardians have earned a four year bachelor's degree. If they've earned a two year degree or if they have a ton of um, you know, certifications and they have every certification in the book to let them be really great but they don't have that four year bachelor's degree, um, then you totally count as a first generation college student in the eyes of the Department of Education, okay? or be considered low income based on federal income guidelines. Those change every year, so we'll take a look at your all's um, taxable income for your family, and that will be what we use to determine those. So um, this is available for rising freshmen through seniors, and if you're not sure if you meet one or both of these requirements, please see me. I have an application that you could fill out. It's two pages front and back, super easy to fill out, and we can determine your eligibility for that, okay? but. This UBMS program specifically is funded to serve 60 students from five different high schools, okay? LaRue County, Nelson County, North Arden, Thomas Nelson, and Washington County. So that means we have about 12 to 13 spots uh, per school that we can help students from. So um, I know North Arden has been really active in terms of getting applications turned into us, but spots are already limited for a lot of our schools. So make sure if this is a program you're interested in, Fill out an application, come see me after we're done. I'll talk about ways that we can get you into the program uh, because like I said, spots are starting to fill up, okay? And then parents or legal guardian consent is required um, to participate. You guys are gonna be sharing some confidential information with us. Your schools are just gonna be sharing some information about your ACT scores, your GPA, things like that. So your parent sign off is gonna be required because you all are still considered minors, okay? If you think it's gonna be an issue, just let me know and we can talk about that, okay? So. The application process, pretty simple, pretty standard. Um, complete our UBMS program application. I have a shortened version of our program application up here in the front that you all can take with you. Um, it, you can be paper, it can be electronic. There's a QR code on the front of it. So if you wanna scan it with your phone and fill it out um, over the phone, then you can do that, okay? But this has to have all items complete with signatures of parents or legal guardians. So once you fill out this shortened application and if you qualify to be part of our program, then I'll give you some more information, some more forms that you'll have to have your parents fill out, okay? After that, you'll meet with me. We'll discuss your academic and career goals. We'll set some goals for you and how we can start reaching those. And then start attending weekly activities and Saturday academies. Excuse me. That's gonna be how you go about earning those monthly stipends, whether that be that $40 a month during the academic year or that $15 a week during the summer academy. Uh, but the best way to stay up to date with us is follow us on social medias. So you can find us at ectc.ubms on Instagram or ectcubms on Facebook, okay? Those are the two big ones that we use. But it's important to remember, this program requires a commitment on your part. Once you join us, we track you until you graduate just to make sure that you're maintaining the appropriate GPA and participate in weekly and summer activities. Uh, but we also understand that a lot of you all are really involved in uh, school-sanctioned extracurriculars. 
Maybe you're involved in a lot of sports. Maybe you're involved in a lot of clubs. Maybe you help out and volunteer in the community. And that's great. We want you to be super involved. We want you to be super well-rounded. And so those, those school-approved, uh, school-sanctioned extracurricular activities, those absences are permitted with us. You just got to let us know. Uh, communicate with us. We're pretty amicable, pretty flexible on, on that. So just make sure that if you know that you're going to be missing, get in contact with me, get in contact with Melinda Dye. That way we can talk about what are some, what's some information that you're going to be missing, what are some content that you might be missing out on, and how can we get that to you. Okay? So here's some information on us if you have more questions about us. Um, I don't have any cards with me, so if you want to get your phone out and take a picture of this, please go ahead and do so. Um, that way if you have any questions, your parents have any questions, or maybe you just want a refresher on what UBMS is, uh, you can do that. Okay? Our office phones are up here, but the best way to reach us is always to just go ahead and send us an email. That way we can have a copy of that. And I'm out of the office a lot because I travel to all of our different high schools. So the best way to reach me is 100% through email. Okay? I'm pretty good about checking my email if I'm not in a presentation from the hours of 8 to 4.30 every day during the week. So if you send me an email, you can expect to hear back with me within the next couple hours. Okay? So our socials are also over here. And then over here on the tables, I've put a couple of different things, just some informational stuff for you, as well as a shortened eligibility application. So if that interests you, please take one with you as you head out the door. Uh, we have some rack cards that detail either our summer academy or just the program in general. They give you a little bit more information. And then they also have a QR code on the back you can scan to get to our socials, our actual full-length application that you can fill out, things like that. Okay? Any questions? I know I just threw a ton of information at you all. So... Does anybody have any questions about what is Upward Bound? How can I apply? Anything like that? Well, I just specifically like North Harbor and Thomas Nelson. Good question. So he asked, why is it specifically those high schools that we serve? So when we were writing the grant, we had to do research on the schools that are surrounding us within a drivable distance to make sure that those schools were actually schools that needed the assistance. We identified North Harden, Thomas Nelson, Nelson County High School, at schools that didn't have the college preparatory stuff that maybe other surrounding high schools had. So that puts you all and your students at a disadvantage in terms of being more prepared for college. I graduated from North Arden High School like eight years ago, so I understand that while there are more resources now than ever before, um, there are still less resources at North Arden High School in terms of college readiness than there are at other schools like maybe Elizabethtown High School or Central Harden High School or things like that. So we want to make sure that we're helping you all be a little bit more ready for that. Okay? Thank you. What is a day in summer going to look like? Do what? A day in summer. So a day in the summer academy will typically look like you showing up. Um, you guys will normally leave North Arden High School around 8. Um, get to ECTC around 8.30, 8.45. Eat breakfast. We'll provide breakfast every day. After that, you'll sit through a couple of different shortened classes. Uh, that are taught by our summer instructors. You won't be necessarily like graded on them, like the grades won't affect your GPAs, uh, but you will receive some type of grade on them. And then after that, we'll take a short break for lunch. And then in the afternoon, we'll either do a workshop activity, you guys will work on a research project that you'll get to choose and talk with us about and then present to us, or we'll take a field trip, go check out a college, go check out a local business, things like that, okay? And normally we'll run from like nine to like 3.30 or so. Um, so that's normally what a normal day will look like, and that's Monday through Thursday. And then on Fridays, during those five weeks of summer instruction, we'll always be taking a field trip to somewhere. So we'll go somewhere like Kentucky Kingdom, the Kentucky Speed uh, Museum of Arts. We'll go look at the Kentucky Science Center, and then we'll also go take some college visits and stuff like that. Okay? Anything else? All right, well, I appreciate you all coming and listening. Please make sure that you take some materials on your way out the door. 